pull his knee and his arm towards you and just push you. That's that. All right. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, Oliver. Take his hand now. Take his arm. He's going. He's going. Take him that knee. You walk. Push him down. Come back. Alright, you guys okay with this one? Alright, remember the only thing that's changed from there, boom, and that hand on the knee. Principal is you're taking the base out on both sides and you're just gonna push him over for the roll. Alright, so you can see. <laughs> smarter than you than you actually are. So just follow it. Alright, don't resist it too much. Just really trying to hear relax. From that position. <coughs> Moving on. All right. You're here. And you manage to get out. When you're stepping up, you got your hand here. Okay? Everyone think they can get to this position? All right. It's the same thing as going to this back. Alright? But again, it hasn't let go of my head. That's why I'm there. Oh god. Taking position. Alright, I'm out with him. If this hand is still on my head, okay? From here. This hand, we're gonna come around so you can see. This is similar to like a headlock position, you know? Okay? Again, this leg is important that it stays here to keep check, okay? Because this will allow you to move your hip away whenever you need to. But from this position, we can either take this hand, pull it, take our roll, okay? That's by pulling that over. Right there, base position. Watch it. If he switches with his hip in to roll me over. Switch your hip, nice and smooth. Just easily go to your knees. Okay? But if we don't pull the sleeve, 
to take our favorite rollover, which is that one. We're just going here. Fingers on top of here. Okay. Right there. Pulling back. I'm stepping out. This technique can come off real fast. It comes off really fast. If wrestlers can do it and they have no gi, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do it. Okay? Things is all before. Right, he's passing. I'm going to my knees here. This hand here. Face him, take his hands. And here, pull that wrist. Pull it out. Okay, guys, once you start practicing the arm lock, you're going to be able to find you get other things off of it. All right. Position. Okay, arms, legs, and head lock. All right. From here, we find that it's even as easy as switching. Just totally train parallel to him. Okay. Go right here. Just side by side. All right. We got this right here for chance. All right. If his body's too close, don't worry about it. All right. Are you here? Just got your head. Keep it down. You just turn. See, your head just comes out. All right. Again, this is mobility, you know, versus just there like a tractor pushing, pushing, pushing. Okay. This is good stuff for a little guy versus big guy. All right. Which is usually my situation. <laughs> All right. So I can do that. All right. Okay. You know what you guys are doing here? I'm slipping out. Coming back. All right. For this arm lock, okay. we're here, we're here, on this hand, tuck your head down, loop it out, all right, you still got this hand, you still here, and down to this position. The arm lock's not what I'm worried about, all right, it's the fact that I've changed and reversed position. That's the most important thing, okay? Because the attacks will come. He'll pull his hand down. Take the choke. He defends against the choke. Straighten that hand down. All right, he's got this one. Roll over. All right, the attacks will come. All right, but it's the fact that you can change and escape from position, the most important thing. All right, you gotta load, load the gun before you shoot it. All right? Let's go, everyone. All right, with it. No questions. No repeats. All right. All right. Start from the again. Right here. Go ahead and try to pass over the knee. And the combo. Pop on the head. Come down. Okay. Here. Come down. <laughs> yeah, the problem was, every time he's trying to move, for one step he takes, my step is like two of his. Like, you see the distance we had? Um, just because I was holding onto him, he got pulled over. And right, that, the only reason is I'm keeping my hip free all the time. All right, I don't want him to pin my hip to the floor, or else I can't move. So it should be one of my goals? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back in there. He doesn't need it again. Dude, pull, rolls out your ass, man. You <laughs> <laughs> just kind of roll the guy. All right. <laughs>
sometimes I'm too soft for him. Every time he pushes me, he over pushes me. Yeah. So sometimes it's very hard for him to even judge his own strength. All right, it's very hard. And sometimes it's very annoying. <laughs> All right. All right, moving back to the situation that we're in. Over here. Make sure you turn your body away. Yeah. Okay, if he's still holding on, bonus for you. He's coming in nice and smooth. And on the roll here. What will happen a lot of times, if you don't get him down flat, he's gonna roll. Okay? That's the tendency, to roll. That's how you gotta be changing position. Alright? So we're going back in. You gotta go quick, man. <laughs> Alright? You gotta be ready for that. Yeah, put the hand back. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the hand here? The same technique works again. Alright? So we're not gonna go into that. Wrist moves in here. We go here. He takes the roll. Roll, 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 roll. Come on top of him. This is very important to practice. A lot of guys do not come on top properly. Because if I was here and I executed this, this phase of the technique properly, this arm is under my armpit. When he rolls, roll, stay on top of him. This arm will stay trapped. Very easy to move in to a nice secure position. All right? And he will struggle to get that arm out after. Got to in top position. When I have this arm tied up like this, all right? He's gonna feel very threatened. All right, because the troll will be setting in. <laughs> All right, we're very easy to move to the armbar. Again, also, this will show you to low and move to your opponent rather than try to hold him down. If you fight that guy, you guys are holding him down. Forget it. All right, move here. Now, yeah. he rolls. Hold position. Nice and tight. Okay? You must have the position you roll over. So very commonly, off that lock, people roll out. A person who's doing the lock is in trouble. Guys, you didn't move with the person. Most of the times, you see this guy do a really quick somersault and he's back on his feet. Right? You want to avoid that. Okay, coming in on top. Why if you do it, don't let him get away. All right, even if you have to end up in the side position, 69, stay on top, relax, ride with him. Okay? We're gonna start by me and that one real quick. Alright, let's go guys. Some practice the tra some practice the transition following through. He's here, you go. Take his head. So yeah. Yeah. That's that's what happens. The guy generally he just gets away from me. Alright? But what you have to practice is in your mind, don't so much keep your techniques as individuals, alright? But take the five of them, link them together, and that's one big technique. <laughs> alright? Like catch you in step three, I catch you in step four. Alright? And I like catch you in step one, but I'm not worried about it if you get away from me. A lot of times I like it, the guy gets away from the first one, it just makes it more fun. And you go, alright, okay. Well, it's like a tease, but you get them anyway, alright? That's a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of times what can help you, you go into the row, come back, just stand up. Alright? <laughs> he's gonna go, whoop, whoop. He's rolled over in his ass and I'm on my feet. Alright? And a lot of times he's gonna look up and go, whoop. Just like that, alright? So in here. You kind of just walk on, on the arm lock. Okay. So we all can try this one. Oh, that's right. Turn your body around. Stand up. Alright, 
Control the arm. I'm ready to just fall into the arm lock. Okay, cause his arm's like dead straight. <laughs> so I was just straight from the beginning. As soon as I did the arm escape and I did this, his arm was straight all the way through there. I'm ready to just flip over and do an arm lock. Walk beside and do an arm lock. Okay. Okay, I'm for him. That's good. That's good. <coughs> We're going back to the beginning again. All right. Back to the same position, stepping over. Alright, here. You see how he keeps a nice high base? Alright, I got at this a lot of times, very difficult for a lot of people to work with. Okay, because not only that, everything's really hard to reach. Alright, but it's so big. Alright. And other times, a lot of times we're going to do a switch over. Alright. I see the technique you did here. Alright. A lot of times when guys are coming through, some guys will push your knee down and they'll do a switch out. All right, what you want to do, you want to pin this through here. Keep this up, make this little roll over there. Okay, that's why we gotta take your time. Okay, you gotta take your time. Go in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is all footwork, guys. We gotta go home and tell your baby sister on the feet. All right, <laughs> See this foot? See the switch? All right. If I get slide over, I got to do something like this. Okay. It's okay. yeah, completely fine. We just go through it nice and slow. Yeah. Okay. Best thing to do, guys. After this, you have to start doing this taking the eyes closed. We're going. Okay. Now he's turned his pelvis around to you. If you can take advantage of it with your feet, you can get the roll over. Okay, you slow down the roll. Okay, I switch to my foot and linger it all here. A lot of times just roll over, not the other direction. Get my roll. Get his hands on my head. Okay. If I catch that, if his hand's by my hand, I can't get my head out, but he's got no base. Alright? If he takes his hand away from base, push my head under. Okay? His hand's right there, switches his hip over. Okay? See my feet together? Okay. Tricky roll, you may not necessarily get this one. But you'll be able to feel other roles with it. Off of the principle, the idea. Okay. 
weight on one side to make it very difficult for him to pull over. But when you run into that bottom, one time from here, you start to put you in, you just get more body. You won't be able to catch it. This is this way. <laughs> you won't catch it. This, this goes, he's gonna get tired. All right, he's running around on the floors. I'm on my feet practically, or most of the time I'm just sitting on him. Okay? So, yeah. Don't reach too much. <laughs> yeah, I know if you're reaching for my feet, nobody's guarding the neck. <laughs> this is a really quite strange position, situation. Because the problem is, you're saying to yourself, he's got no hooks in. Right? <laughs> I should look at him off. <laughs> he's got no hooks in. Alright, but the problem is, I don't want my hooks in. I want to stay mobile. Alright, so if he's a big guy, getting in here, in here, he's got those arms, he grabs my arms, getting the choke from this position now can really, really hard. And he starts to plow his way out of your guard. Alright? <laughs> I thought it was just better off just staying off of him. Alright? Where we're going? Everyone okay with the previous technique? Can you just stand up? Huh? Can you just stand up? <laughs> Not everyone, I wonder. Can you stand up too? That's it. Uh, the, uh, no, there's always a strategy, that there's always a stress that once you get to someone's side, get your hooks in, get your hooks in. Yeah. But you're saying that's not necessary. In judo, a lot of times guys would turtle. Right, they're turtle. They're allowed to put their hooks in. But a lot of times, judo guys defend off of it. Right. right, you take a good judo guy, he'll stay there, turtle, for all day. You ain't doing nothing to him. You gotta like, you guys are like, hold on a sec, go in the back room, get a bat. That's the only thing you could do. All right, most of the time, these guys, it's like they're hibernating, right? <laughs> right he's got a book in there and everything. You can't do anything. <laughs> right, so one time, just, I kind of realized, I go, something's going on here, you know? He doesn't want me to get my hooks in. I can't move him over. They're like a big stone. All right? So a lot of times what I did, I, at one time, I stepped away, put my hand on his back, and he moved. <laughs> That's all I really wanted. Just for him to move, because most of the thing is just like this. It's like a big rock. <laughs> you know? And I like, kind of work in there, and yeah, yeah, can't do anything. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about, right? The turtle, right? Yeah. I need Mark, man. <laughs> That's the guy who does it. Man, you're like this. You can't even get your foot in here. You can't do anything. You just want to step off. Yeah. <laughs> and then, man, there's not much you can do. Until one day, I just said, you know what? I'm doing this. And start working. And then I said, oh, he starts to move. And then I tried to catch whatever he took out. And I started finding this easiest way to work against that. No, uh, whereas a jiu-jitsu person, if you're right up in the school of jiu-jitsu from day one, you're told now I'm going to go there, all right? But trust me, the idea is different once you get out of here, you know? Even at the black belt level in Brazil, guys turn their backs to one another all the time. All the time, because they're, they're suckering you so much. You know, you got things like this going on. She's a big guy. Right? things like this from bottom position. 
Stopping you from moving and avoiding the choke. You know, versus twirling, you're staying in, you know, <laughs> entrenched. Alright? Guys turn their backs all the time. Especially at the higher level. You start turning their backs all the time. Alright? Guys, again, turn your back so lot. You know? Well, he wants to choke you. Your fifth thinking is going to choke you. That's your problem. Alright? I'm not thinking about what he's going to do to me. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with him. Alright? Uh, a lot of times I'll be in the position we've been here starting up. I'll turn it down. We're going. I just started, I just did the technique we did today. I turned my back on. I just try to get back, right? You know? And even when you turn your back, he's got a hand in there for a choke. Alright. Just keep it all nice. Just pointing out to everything, right? It's nice, because you're there, you say, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. back all the time. Guys, send them back all the time. Just in the beginning, it's kind of like a real pump. You start learning. Okay. We're going to go through the previous technique again, just a few more times. Switch out. Go in there. Kick away. I'm staying mobile. Just take your time. Okay? Can I roll him out? Go in a circle. Alright, so guys. I know. Alright, stop. position that we were working on before, all right, from your knees, and from there we're going to some. Just actually just one stand-up technique, okay? One idea that it's the same as we escaping from the headlock and all the other stuff we've been doing, all right? Stuff that works well with the key, and then, and then the one more dirty stuff, all right? Uh, well, yeah. All right, before we're in here, with this technique, right? We came out, the first time we were rolling, everyone's okay with that, all right? We're gonna work now from this position without going into that arm line, all right? Just for some choke transitions and some setups, okay? And some stuff, you're working with your skirt. All right, so you guys work skirts, I know. Thank you. <laughs> From this position, when you want to float in around the person, okay, I don't know if you know it's from our little drill. What you want to do, you want to maintain control of the person. And you want to stay very close to their hip. You want your hip to be where their hip is. You always want to know what their hip is doing. Okay, because if that hip turns over slightly this way, it means he's going to turn into you. Okay, it means he starts to turn in towards me. You want to feed him to the other side. 
completely to the other side. You don't want to try to stay on this side and prevent the choice from coming in. <coughs> and some quick things to help you roll across the body really quick. Okay, okay same thing can be done. Fall to right knee on one knee. Switch it like this. Okay, same thing as that. From here, go back. Let's work out working on these types of work. You do the same thing. Okay, and they can't keep track of it. Now you're switching sides like, you're actually doing it on stepping over. It's like very, very hard to detect. Okay? And very hard to time when I'm going to do it. Okay, I can do it whenever I want. Alright? We're here working. Okay. I'm out of time. I'm looking the other way. He's looking for you. Okay? Same thing. We did. From his knee. Alright? Stay here. You need yourself in full position. Okay? I'm completely on the side. I don't have to fight position or position or anything like that. Okay? Again, another thing you want to watch out. Try not to put your arms too deep. Okay? If you have to put your arms deep in here, have his wrist or something. Okay, now if you have his wrist, even when he rolls down, this is really locking with it. I'm following him up on this side. Okay, because I have control of his wrist, it's a lot easier for me to attack to the choke or move for something else. Okay. So watch out, don't put your hand in deep here. Alright, unless you got that collar. Very right, this way side. Alright, just maintain control. Again now, we're gonna move on to some chokes. First choke. Alright, you're just pulling this down. Okay, again, not too deep, not too tight. If you feel he's gonna trap my hand, trap my hand. Just take it out, okay? And while he's reaching for that, I'm reaching for this little cup. All right? From here, open it up, take it. All right, once we got this position, we're gonna step over and fall to this side. Finishing our choke. Okay? Really easy stuff to do. Like that. Top of the shoulder. I like to put my foot down and behind the small of his back. This here. Behind the back of his head. Finishing the chub. While your body is use this leg here for leverage. Push back. And really crank on your choke. Okay? But Again, once you do this choke and you go in, and he's trying to take the rope, go over with him. Go, 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 go. Stay behind him. Get behind. If you cannot get behind his back, right? If you can't get this behind here, just hold the opposite little cow. Okay, you do the job just as good as you get your leg up there. Okay, so this is going to be important. We get this one down pat to be able to move into the other chokes. Ripple in here, right? Put here. Whichever keeps you nice and glued to his hip. But when you start to choke, loosen out and then above his armpit. You can't choke from underneath right there. Alright, some chokes work like this, but not this particular one. Okay, so where's my hand? And I was rolling the direction you're doing the choke. All right, so you use your body weight. All right, so you're going here. The other hand, behind. All right, everybody all right with it? Monkey dokey, let's go, monkey dokey. Okay. Transition on this chill. You're going here, all right. I'm gonna pull this one out, trying to get here. All right, he's gonna break the grip. Let's pull you over the all right. When the person pulls the lapel away, don't try to hold on to the gi. All right. Just loosen up your grip and slide it in deeper. Okay. Because when a person has a choke, one of the worst things you can do is pull your lapel. All 
All right, unless you get yanked out like a nice quick, like, phew. All right, and he pulled my hand away, smart guy. <laughs> That's the next one. <laughs> okay, we go ahead. It's one of the worst things you can do, all right? So we're going we're gonna through on that. He's going to go here, going for the choke, pulls it away. I'm still going, pulls my hand away. Let him pull away, scoop, and take it back. Okay, if you have to, come by this time, the lapel is nice and loose. He pulls it, and this is going to be deep, all right? If you even insist on still holding it, guys, don't fight too hard. Come in really deep, start from low down, and come up under his chin. All right, he has a turtle there. I'm gonna try coming in from here. Just try coming in, nice and high. Even you have to cover up his own hand. And then take your time. You have to put his forehead on the floor. <laughs> Push it down, okay? But a lot of times, this is one of my favorite fakes. I'm coming in, go, just be there, and normal. I'm coming here, got thick old stuff, Joe. They always play it fair. They always play it fair. Sometimes I get my tap right off of this. Alright. Another time, I take my time. Again, you pull it in. <laughs> Alright, it's the worst thing you do. Pull it. Every time you pull it, my hand just gets a nice, stronger, deeper grip. And you know the best part is, if he was going to pull it, he should pull it straight down. But they have this tendency of pulling it away as if they're gonna like show you chest here. Alright, from here, your hand goes in really deep. It's like real good. And the choke is in very, very tight. Okay? Now, I'm going here, attacking from my choke. I can't get my hand in. I do get it, he pulls the lapel away. Take this. The way you bring this back, use his momentum from pulling your hand back. Alright, don't you try have to force his hand back. Why I just do it sometimes, from here. Quick, just shoot it between your legs, hook it up. If you can, you can pass off for that. Don't worry about it if you can't. <coughs> just stay in position. Again, get ready to lean back or get ready to roll around. All right? Now, even if he jumps up and he starts to roll, and you take control, take your lapel, okay, on this position here, and push him away. Just come back for your arm. <laughs> All right? And you finish your choke. Okay. But don't don't worry about the roll part, guys. <laughs> All right. Just come in here. Keep it up. Okay. Grab his opposite lapel. Okay, so the choke looks like this now. If you want to stay on the side, and just finish the choke from there. Okay. Right here, you maintain control with your legs of the other arm. Alright. Sure, sneaking in, it works. It can be done really fast. It's a really fast paced maneuver. Okay. You'd be here working. And he's a fast paced fighter. You're a hard paced fighter. This way. Alright. Okay. They all work really fast. Up from there, you're able to stay mobile. Good job, now, if you want to, I can start attacking the other arm. <laughs> but the choke's all there. And I'm not going to pull the choke until I feel it's easy to do so. Okay, my hand is just there. Now it's comfortable for me to do so. And I start to pull it. Okay, so you feel it. You just move, you move like a bullet, man. Alright. <laughs> just keep moving. I don't know if some of you guys watch me fight, but um, most of the fighters I, I notice myself on watch tape, I move a lot. And even from my weight class, I move a lot. You know, I prefer mobility. If I can move fast, you know, if I'm going to, my idea is always I'm going to find a bigger person. Okay, so I always want to do it the easiest way possible. All right, a lot of times, pulling chokes too early, a lot of times it makes you lose a choke. Right, he's here, you fight him, don't fight with it. Let go, put your hand back in. Let go, put your hand back in. And it's a lot easier that way, trust me. Right. No, it's a bad time, still pulling, doesn't get the message, you gotta do something else. Put your hand back in. But don't try to uh, rub it and bug heads with it. Okay, it's the easiest way to do it. Everyone's okay with this part? Alright, no problem. 
And get yeah, arm on one through, you gotta keep your hip nice and close to his arm tip. And then pull through. <laughs> it's a habit. It's his tendency to grab his lapel and I'm waiting for it. I say, love it. He's <laughs> going deeper. Alright? If he's pulling your his lapel, don't try to hold it. Don't try to pull his hand back. Alright? Your hand, pull it away. Let it go. Put it deeper. You'll feel it once you start doing it. Okay? Up on here. To do the arm lock, guys, press your L. If your pelvis is against his arm pain, grab his wrist. Just pull it back. Doesn't matter which way his arm goes. If his arm goes this way, bend it this way for a second. That's how I get them to roll backwards. Okay. And... Ooh, rolling up there, man. It's very hard for him to get away. It's like, I got arm, I got my hands all over his neck. It's, it's a real panicky situation. Okay? Everyone okay with it? Any questions? No problem? Let's go. Bring him here. Work in, pull in the shell up the door. And right here, locks me off with that cage. All right, on top of all that. Now from here, he's gonna, he's gonna start to go head up, or he's gonna start trying to turn in and all that stuff. Just keep your knee tucked in nice and tight underneath him. Okay, just prevent him from rolling over. All right, by this time now, we want to start to attack the other side. All right, can you see my hand now? Okay, so try to get this arm from between my legs, okay? But the reason why I keep this arm nice and tight is to keep this arm from getting around to the other side of my torso. Now he wants to get it on this side, all right? So practically we're facing one another, all right? So we want to try to avoid that, all right? But while you're fighting and all that, and you feel he's starting to roll, you don't want to roll, give him the feeling that, okay, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you there, buddy. So he's gonna back off. He's gonna start to pull head up. By this time, I have switched from attacking the far lapel to the other one. So his head comes up, he's gonna try turning towards me. By the time I get ready for him to turn to the opposite side. Okay? Let me turn from here. So just go like this. Come across, hold this side. Alright? Hold your thumb like this. Makes it a lot easier. Okay. Basically we're just doing this. From here. Here. Alright, he comes out a bit lower. That way, the whip off the place really fast. If he doesn't block this choke, I'm gonna choke him with it. Okay, he has to try and block it. Watch his arm, I'll take it. Okay. And again. Go from here. Right Lock it up. Lock it one side. <coughs> Switch to the other side. Once you got it, we're going to do something. And just like this at first. Do that way. Lay it on. We're going under. Okay, first one. If I sit like this, guys, it's a lot easier like this. Boom. He's blocking it, pulling away, whatever. Switch sides. Roll your hands around. Okay? All I gotta do is practice the drill just like this. Rock in. Thank you. 